I'm Howard Bortu from uh, Marvell. I'm an architect and distinguished engineer leading the architecture and CXL products at Marvell. So, let me see. Okay, cover a couple of um, arguments for why a new technology and, and why now. So you guys have heard some of this. So um, traditionally, memory uh, is tied down captive inside of CPUs today. And uh, new paradigms of uh, computing like AI and, and inference with machine learning cannot easily share this tied down memory inside of the CPUs. Um, the ways in which we copy memory and in and out of the CPUs over I.O. and PCI to do these kinds of new computing paradigms is, is restrictive. Uh, there's other issues, but that's mainly with captive memories. Um, you've heard a lot of talk about this, that uh, over the last few years, the scaling of, um, of cores is outpacing the scaling of um, memory, so the bandwidth per, per core is reducing and this gap is increasing, so it's degrading the efficiency. And then there's this, this kind of, there's, there's a limited opportunity to near memory compute inside of servers, and I'll give you some examples of that. So CXL is, is poised to address these issues, so if you look at uh, memory tied down, we're gonna do CXL expanders to expand memory pooling to pool memory for CXL and CXL switching. Um, bandwidth declining per core, CXL expanders help solve this, and then accelerators at the end of CXL for memory, near memory compute. So um, this is the challenges of DIMMs being captured inside of uh, servers today. Um, uh, both, both there's, um, we find that the utilization of the memories is low. There's lots of cold pages, and there's a lot of what we call that stranded memory that's not usable in, in many cases in data centers. And this other, this other problem of, of the scaling problem where bandwidth of the memory is not scaling high enough to, to challenge the number of cores as they're increasing. So there's also lots of tertiary problems about it's not easily to surface DRAMs. DRAMs in a data center today are not only one of the most expensive commodities, but they're unreliable, you know, generally unreliable. It's not the most reliable hardware in the data center. So there's limited serviceability, limited telemetry to learn about the performance of the DRAMs, the, 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 the RAS of the DRAMs. And there's no ability to add uh, creative acceleration near the memory in the DRAMs. So, this is getting solved a lot in CXL because now you have these uh, small form factor pluggables that are being defined that are, are now commodities. You know, they're plug and play modules that can go in the front of the, of the server. With that, you can scale the performance. So every one of these that you plug in is scaling the bandwidth and the performance. Um, these things are purpose built, thermally optimized. Uh, they have telemetry built into them and there's more and more creative telemetry and acceleration coming out built into the pluggables. Um, you can mix and match them, different vendors, different uh, feature sets. Um, you can share and pull them. You, you have controls over the uh, selling them as SKUs and, and, and the flexibility of different SKUs. So that's memory expansion. This is an illustration of how an expander like this can improve performance. So we talk about one DIM per channel and, and two timber channels, but what people forget to realize is that's not scaling the performance, that's just a capacity expansion. The performance stays the same from one DPC to two DPCs. So if you do the same kind of expansion with CXL, where you start with one DPC and then you add uh, CXL expanders, now you've doubled your capacity and you've expanded your bandwidth. So this is just an illustration of where a CXL expansion can also help in, in uh, opening up bandwidth. So the, ne the next thing is about sharing. So one of the other problems with captive memories in the server is that, is that you can't use and reuse that memory where and when it's most needed. 
So this idea of pooling, where you, where you consolidate the memory in a pool and then you bind it to different CPUs and servers when they need it, at the time they need it, you can more efficiently utilize the memory. So this example of CXL pooling is kind of a multi-headed uh, CXL device connected to multiple servers, and you can bind the memory in that pool to one server, rebind it to another server over time, and, and, and reuse it independently, adding more memory. And then CXL switching takes that to the next level. Now you can think of it as resource sharing. Now we could put expanders, we could put accelerators, we could put more, more memory pools through a CXL switch, through a fabric in CXL 3.0, and, and we could share these resources and reuse them where needed and when needed in, in a, on the servers. And it's kind of the gateway that enables this, this fully composable infrastructure, and I think the next slide is going to explain that. So ideally, in the, if we disaggregate memory and we have storage disaggregated at the rack level from the compute, then, then you can build uh, servers in the data center that are, that are composed of pieces from memory, from storage, from compute, and recompose them. And then you have this flexibility to get the most optimal utilization across the server, servers in the rack. It's going to get better efficiency. More, uh, more bandwidth per core. And then it's going to unleash the ability to have these ultimate performance, which is near memory compute. And um, the, the examples I give here that we don't always think about is things like uh, better RAS is a near memory computation thing. So there's a, there's a small level tier of um, near memory computation all the way to really advanced, sophisticated things that people have thought about. But there's RAS, security, um, compression techniques, uh, data movements, doing copies, doing database searches. So there's lots of unique applications that people are, have always wanted to do near memory and offload that from doing memory copies back and forth into the CPU and then doing the processing. If you could do this near memory, this is a way of achieving ultimate performance. So just to tell you a little bit about what Marvell's doing and what are Marvell plans. So this is an illustration of a, of a pooling appliance. And what we're building in this appliance is um, these little trays that have a, a CXL expander on it connected to DIMMs. And you can put multiple trays in the appliance. The appliance is a, is a standalone appliance with power, redundant power, fans, cooling, you know, redundant uh, um, chassis management at the back. Um, the front is showing the cable, the CPFP cages for cabling up to the servers. And then there's even pluggables on the front, so you can further expand the memory on the front, or you could further expand your connectivity to other, other servers in the rack. So Marvell's plans is both vertically to build the silicon that does this and to build the POCs and the, and the reference platforms to enable this kind of a, a product in the marketplace. And we see this coming out in two phases. You'll see today in phase one, we're doing this with FPGAs, and we're demoing this on the showcase floor. I think it might be over by now, but there's a, in the middle of this rack illustration is a, is a pooling device with FPGAs, up, and we can connect up to four servers. And then phase two, when we have SOCs in five nanometer, then we're going to be able to connect up to eight uh, servers and pool memory in a memory appliance. So the vision, I'm going to just build out all three of these things. So the vision for, for CXL in the data center is that it's, you know, today most of it is done with networking at the rack level. So there's top of rack switches that are, that are connecting together with servers on the rack and across racks. We envision as, as CXL starts coming into the data center, we're going to be able to connect memory to CXL appliances on the rack through cabling. And then, the, and then the servers are still connected to the top of the rack. And then ultimately, we might have CXL only going in the rack scaling and have uh, Ethernet be between racks, rack to rack for longer distances. So this is a full, fully composed rack in the data center. Um, 
this point is about Marvell. So Marvell is uniquely positioned to have comprehensive end-to-end -end CXL solutions. So we're going to have expanders, we're going to have switches, pooling devices, um, accelerators and DPUs and optics and uh, retimers and, and such. So both CXL solutions and then, of course, our, our larger portfolio of DPUs, smart NICs, optics, retimers, and SSD controllers. So in summary, CXL is disrupting cloud data center architectures. Uh, Marvell is uniquely positioned to enable end-to-end -end CXL in the data center. And uh, it's driving this next multi-billion dollar opportunity we're seeing. And then there's a live demo that you guys can see on Marvell. So thank you very much.